Welcome back, folks. Um, today we have another collaboration with Mr. Iron Gordon. Um, he created this beautiful uh, skull with flowers around and a skull uh, flower in the mouth. Um, the idea of this is to uh, have him create the background, um, woodcut, all handmade, and paint this elaborate design, uh, send it over to me to pinstripe it. Uh, so <clears throat> if you could please go to Iron Gordon's channel and you can check out the creation of this right now. And uh, what I'm going to do is pinstripe it and kind of fancy it up. The idea is to do something like a Dia de los Muertos, which is a Day of the Dead skull. So just kind of with a lot of little designs and whatnot. Uh, I guess similar to my tattoo here, um, just to give you an idea. So, uh, what I did, because he lays some sort of epoxy over everything when it's all done, um, I'm not real keen on erasing a lot when it comes to this stuff. I, I, I don't want to mess it up. So what I've done is pre-drawn a few designs, um, just to ensure that I've kind of got an idea of where I'm going to begin with. Uh, today we're going to be using the Kafka number one. And I mixed up a custom blue color using uh, aqua, Kansas City teal, and dark blue. It's all one shot. So before I get started, let me just check and make sure we're recording fine. Palletize the brush, and away we go. Now this design that I have on here uh, isn't going to be the exact thing that ends up happening, but it's going to be pretty close. Because the forehead and the whole skull is kind of, I don't want to say lopsided, but kind of flowy, I decided to do something asymmetrical on his forehead versus symmetrical. <clears throat> now I blow on there to get rid of some of the air bubbles. Trying not to get my head in the shot. All right. I'm also trying to keep these lines within the skull, within the blue part of the skull. Um, another good thing about this is uh, this will be for sale. So uh, we're probably going to have another video with Iron Gordon where he can tell you where you can buy this at. So just make sure you keep checking up on Iron Gordon's page. This is going to go back to him and uh, he's going to have it for sale. So a uh, lucky viewer will be able to buy this. He was kind enough to allow me to keep the last... Um, collaboration that we did. So this time I'm around, around I'm, I'm returning the favor and allowing him to do what he wants with this one. Even though he did all the work, <laughs> I'm just pinstriping it.
That's when you gotta really admire people that have the craftsmanship to be able to build something. Uh, understandably what I do is a craft, but it, it doesn't take a lot of elbow grease and know-how. I mean, I'm just drawing lines, basically. This thing didn't even exist before uh, Mr. Gordon created it. So big props to Iron Gordon. So there you go. I'm definitely going to add some more to that. Uh, this video uh, series will probably be in a few different parts. cat meowing in the background. So right now I'm palleting my brush a little bit more. Hopefully these lines are visible. Take a look. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. <clears throat> Let me know what you think about the asymmetrical stuff on the forehead. Uh, would you have gone a different route? Uh, let me know what you think as I'm doing this. Now I will do a sort of a symmetrical situation on this uh, part of his face. It's kind of the cheekbones. My apologies if my head gets in the way. When I pinstripe, I always want to get very close. I, I can I can get more leverage that way. Now, when doing something symmetrical, I always do one stroke on one side, and then I do. Uh, try to do the same thing on the other side that way. I'm not going too far into this one and then trying to match it On the reverse Also trying hard not to stick my finger in there. So once again, palletizing or palleting the brush, reloading it with paint. Now, when I know that I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of scrolls, um, it doesn't have to be as um, wet to paint. So it's a little bit tacky, so I have some more control over these tight turns. I know I don't have to travel so much as all that per se. Now let's see if I can sort of keep the same vibe on this side. So that got a little thicker than that, so I'm just going to thicken up this side to match. I think I'll start over here. And there you have it. drawn something like a mustache on here. I'm debating on whether or not I want to do that. It just kind of adds another little scroll. I think for now I'm going to work on a different part. I don't know about the mustaches. Maybe we'll do dots for that. 
so I got a couple of little scrolls here that I wanted to do. Now these tighter ones are more difficult. on account of space alone. Oddly enough, it helps me to have a longer uh, bristle than a shorter one when it comes to this. But that's just preference. Take a look here on the camera, make sure you can see everything. <clears throat> I'm going to palletize the brush some more. here on the chin some very very tight curves which I was able to draw with a pen but I don't know if I'll be able to do it with the brush let's give it a shot There's one. That was definitely a tight spot. Now I did consider doing some teardrops here. We'll see how they look. If I don't like them, I might take them off. Teardrop. Looks pretty good, I think. I've never done one of these, so I kind of don't know where to stop. But from what I could tell, it's just got crap everywhere. So let's just work with putting crap everywhere. The more the merrier, I think, when it comes to these. Day of the Dead Skulls. I 
Now I'm rethinking my mustache idea here. I'm palleting my brush right now. Again, this is a custom color. Um, Kansas City Teal, Aqua, and uh, just a drop of dark blue. Uh, next up, I think I'll start to incorporate some of the orange and yellow. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like with a mustache. A mustache. He does have a gold tooth already. Well, that's not too bad, I don't think. Do a little teardrop shape here just to fill in this gap. Now I might outline these teardrops just to give them a little more pizzazz. But for now, I think that's going to be it. So um, please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks again for watching. Um, check out Iron Gordon's um, making of video, which would be like the part one. And I'm about to do part two of the pinstriping. So I'll see you in just a second.